Yay. Welcome guys to Sunday night. I know it's been, um, we started, we like started these and then we were like, hold on, it's holiday. <laughs> we're not going to do it last week, but we were just wanted to make sure we were cognizant of people being out of town and doing some different stuff. So we wanted to make sure we kind of skipped that week, but keep going forward. Oh, I need to change my name on here. I'll do that when you're, you're talking Sydney. I feel like there's too many carry-ons on here. I'm having like flashbacks of this weird uh, training we got on one time and there was like 7,000 Jessica Greens. <laughs> um, okay. So we have some really great stuff planned for you guys tonight. So make sure you go grab your scenes, just send them some rem reminders. I know it's Sunday night. So uh, people have some family things going on. We try to get them late enough so that most people can jump on here and we are recording. So we're going to give you some uh, tips for the week and some things going on uh, with how we're kind of changing things up a little bit. I don't really, I don't know if I really want to say changing is the right word, but for me, it's a big change. So I'm learning this with you. I will just say this whole new process of doing these working Zooms and changing up my social media is something I am doing right along with you guys, because there's some people that were a little ahead of the curve, like Sydney and like Allison and Dawn and Kelsey, but I was not one of those. I was kind of like old, old mindset, not really paying attention that things were changing. So I just, I wanted to tell you guys that first tonight that, um, I'm doing it with you. Like this is a whole new learning process for me too. So, uh, if you feel like, Oh my gosh, this is a little overwhelming. I don't really understand how we're doing things now. Just remember that there's a lot of us in the same boat. We haven't all figured this out. We are kind of learning as we go. We've watched some other people who have had a lot of success uh, doing things in a, just a little bit different way on social media now. Um, when I started with the company five years ago, we could just be like thrive all over and throw up everywhere on social media and everybody would just they wanted trials like crazy and there wasn't, it was just the way you could do things and you just can't do that anymore. So we have to adapt to change. Has anybody ever read the book who moved my cheese? <laughs> like some people just don't like change. Right. So I'm one of them. Sometimes I can be like, wait, I don't really want to do things in a different way. However, if we want to grow our businesses, we kind of have to. So we're going to kick off with Sydney uh, Slayman telling her story about when she got started with Lavelle. And then she's going to pass it back over to me. We'll, we'll do a, a little bit of training tonight. I want to go over the schedule for the week so you guys know what's coming. Carrie Ann's kicking off another contest that's going to be absolutely outstanding. It's going to push you a little out of your comfort zone, but that's why we're here so that we can help you do that. Um, trust me, I've been pushed way outside of my comfort zone in the last couple of weeks trying to learn a new way of doing things. So Sid, why don't you take it over? I know that not everybody has heard your story. A lot of people on our team have, some people haven't, but it's extremely inspiring. Uh, and I think that it's a good chance for people to get to know you a little bit better and just a little bit more about like what unfolded for you joining Lavelle. Hey, so I'm super excited about this because um, kind of just like what Jess was saying, like there's so much unfolding right now. And I want to preface all this by saying like when we started five years ago, we did not have anything that you all have, not even this right now. Like we didn't all get together on Sunday nights and like have a huddle. Like it was every man for themselves. We were just running, trying to just figure out whatever we could to make everything happen. So um, if you don't know me, I'm Sydney from Detroit, Michigan, and when I got started in this, we're coming up on our five-year anniversary next month, I was a major skeptic. We got started because my husband, and he was major product-driven. It, it was really, we got started because a product changed his life, and it wasn't that it hadn't done that for me, but I was truly looking for a business, a way out. I was in retail management, so if you've ever worked with people in any way, shape, or form, I feel for you. For nine years, I worked there. And I actually worked at a Dollar Tree, which sometimes I think is so weird to look back on because people always tell me when they look at me, like, I can't believe you used to work at Dollar Tree. And there's two parts of that because sometimes I really can't believe that I used to actually think that I was just worth that. But also there's a part of me that that's a part of my come up story. If I didn't have that $10 an hour at 40 hours a week working for someone else, I wouldn't be who I am now. And so I want to say, like, even when I got started in this, major skeptic. I didn't really understand what this was, what this business was, what sharing the product meant. So like Jess said, maybe you're confused. Maybe you don't even know where you're, you're maybe a year in or a month in or a couple weeks or five years in and you're just confused. It's okay. There's always like ups and downs, but you just have to have faith in the process. And 
bless my husband. He had major faith in the process. I did not so much. I'm just like, um, well, we're in, he had signed us up, like not really asking me. So we didn't really have a choice. We, our only option was to make back that money that we had bought the kit with. And, um, you know, lucky for him, he hit VIP and it was just for me, as soon as I saw that VIP was real and it deposited into my bank account, I'm a very results driven person. That to me was like, okay, this is real. This is real stuff. This is, I knew that the product worked because for me, day three, I felt an instant change in myself and I saw it in my husband on day one. But when I saw we're two different people that it works for everybody, I was like, this is something different, you know, and not to dog other things, but this is something different than clothes or makeup or this is for everybody. This is so diverse. This is children, men, women, any age, size, whatever. So I took it from there. And you know, like I said, we didn't have all this stuff. So I remember times like when I would work 40 hours a week. So if you are working right now, don't think that you can't do this. You're just going to have to make a couple uh, different sacrifices than some of us have to make that do this full time. But it's a process, right? Like I remember having to come home and work when I got off work. I didn't have a kid at that time, but you know, the last thing you want to do when you clock out of your job is go home and work another one. But I had a dream. I had um, some major aspirations at that time. I'm blessed to say that we live in our own house. I'm sitting in my office that I have as an extra room in my home. When we started this business, we lived with his mom in her upstairs in an attic. The last thing I wanted to do was live with my husband's mom, which God bless her, I have the best mother-in-law in the world. Um, but everybody has these dreams. And I promise you that if you don't wake up every single day realizing what you're doing and why you're doing it, it's not gonna push you to do things like get on a huddle on Sunday night choose when you're going to do a work with me zoom. I know so many people are like, there's so many work with me zooms. I don't know which one to jump on. You're going to figure it out because I was sitting in Dollar Tree in between U boats. If you work in, in retail, you know what those are, the things that carry out the retail, I would hide or I would go to the bathroom. I mean, I was managing, they'd be like Sydney to the front. And I'd be like, Sydney's busy right now. Like I didn't care because I had a dream and and it didn't matter to me what the outcome was of this dream. I was always gonna figure it out. And so even when I quit my job, I quit my job actually four months into Lavelle. We were 12 Ks and we had quit. And when I had quit my job and looking back, we had no freaking idea what we were doing. We just had supplemented that income and we were like, okay, we can do this, right? And we just started running. And we started making decisions that things were going to change. We were going to start getting up earlier. We were going to start treating our business like it was a business, not a hobby. We were going to get on things that were going to help us grow and do things that were different. Because I know too, when you become an entrepreneur, and especially when it's like a, I'm not really a fan of the side hustle word, but when it becomes maybe a side hustle for you and you do something on the side, maybe it's something that you're just like, I'm going to do this when I have the time but really think about what your goal is because there's someone out there that's making the time. They're not waiting for the time. They're making the time right now. They're going to beat you to it because you're sitting around watching Netflix because you're like, tomorrow I can get on the work with me or tomorrow I can reach out. I'm not gonna do this today. I was that person that was doing it today, working 40 hours a week. Like, and that's why now, uh, to be honest with you, my whole team that's on here right now will tell you, like, I'm a, I'm a different breed when it comes to leadership because I'm like, you can figure it out. Don't ever come with me an excuse. I hit 200K when I was freaking pregnant. I was going to a meetings an hour away, pregnant, like, and Haas had to stop every five minutes because I had to pee all the time. And I, it didn't matter because I had a goal at the end of it, right? I had this, this thing that I was looking more towards because I could, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying go out and quit your job like tomorrow, but if you're unhappy with where you're at, like I was unhappy making $10 an hour for 40 hours a week, working all the time, never seeing my family. I know there's people feeling me right now, right? You're working on the holidays. You always have to choose between which holiday you can pick so that you can, you know, switch with somebody at work or you're missing this or that. Like there's a better way. You just have to commit to doing something different than the next person's doing. If it's getting up an hour earlier, staying up an hour later, personal development. When I got started in this, I was not positive. I had never read a book. I didn't understand anything about personal development, manifestation, any of this stuff. I didn't even know what an LLC was. Like, I remember when someone was like, you need to make an LLC. I'm like, what the hell's that? All of this stuff is going to be new to you and you're going to learn it as you go. But the most important thing is you just have faith in the process and understand that like, 
if you look back in your life, even as last year, I'm sure everybody can say that they've done more this year than they did last year. And I just look back at the last five years and every single day my mind is blown, blown. So think about what you can do and where you can be in five years. If you just maybe every single day, you just be 1% better than you were yesterday. Wow. Yeah, that's my story. I know your story is like, what. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's because it's so close to me and so near and dear, I've got to watch what you and Haas created so closely and be a part of it. And I don't, there's not, uh, I'm, I'm gonna share a couple different things with you guys tonight. Uh, one's gonna be about fitting some things in your schedule, making some things important. And I had no idea that Sydney was gonna say some of the things that she said, but just to dovetail off of that. I have not seen and many people come into this business Without the experience behind her, by the way, because she's young, we, we have this argument all the time about how old I am versus how young she is, um, how young she is and have the determination and, um, and, and put the priorities in her schedule the right way to, to create the, the life that she wanted, the life she deserved. There's not many people without a whole lot of coaching and, you know, personal development and, and, and lots of education on the process of it that would dig in like she did. And I was on my morning run this morning and I was listening to, maybe this was a couple days ago, I was listening to some Tony Robbins stuff. And, you know, he, he's such a brilliant, he's such a brilliant man. And he talks about when he first got started and he realized he wanted to create his own business and He's like, you know, everybody wants and wishes and says, and uh, I, I want to do this and I want to grow my own business and I want to work from home and I want to have my own thing and they wish for it and they talk about it and they make the vision boards and the dream boards and the goal list and all of that. And then they quit on themselves so quickly because they didn't actually put it in their schedule. <laughs> How simple is that? You just didn't even schedule it, right? So he's like, when I decided that I wanted to create my own business, I... Um, I, I, everybody says, well, I don't really have time to do that. I don't really have time. I don't have the extra time. I mean, how many times have we all heard that excuse of like, I don't really have a lot of time to be doing a side hustle or an extra business. So he's like, well, I really wanted it. And so it just really comes down to if you really want it or not, he would get up at, um, like 7 a.m., go to his regular nine to five, you know, eight to five, whatever. He'd get off work, he'd come home, he'd eat dinner, and his side hustle, his business, the one that was actually going to uh, secure his future, he worked from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m., and then he went to bed. And then uh, he woke up at seven and went to his regular day job and repeated that day in and day out and day in and day out. And I find all these people who come into network marketing, they're like, I wanna go all the way to the top, I wanna be, you know, a 200K, I wanna be a millionaire. Do, would do you actually put that kind of effort in would you uh, would like uh, so many people don't even work from 6 p.m to 8 p.m before they're like lights out <laughs> i gotta go like do my thing and sit on the couch and watch netflix and it, it really like if you really really want it you will put the time in so we've put together these uh, work with me Zooms because we want to work side by side with you. It doesn't mean I'm going to be on every single one of them. I might only be on three that week. It doesn't mean Sydney's going to be on every single one of them. It doesn't mean Carrie Ann's going to be on every single one of them. We set it up on purpose with a bunch of different 200Ks and 40Ks, some, some leaders to work them together so that um, you had multiple choices. We're not saying get on eight a week. We're saying look at your calendar and how serious are you about building your business go plot those in the schedule and then work all the other stuff around them that's why we did early morning ones mid morning ones and late evening ones so that you guys had enough choices that you had absolutely no excuse to say i can't show up for my business because if you can't make one of those the time frames work that are on there there's a whole other list of problems that we got trying to grow a business right so um I wanted to start with that and because I found Tony Robbins schedule is just so absolutely incredible to me how this man like sleeps like two hours a day sometimes and he has this thing where he gets up in the morning and gets in this like really cold tub and then he or he had this really hot tub and then he gets in this really cold tub and he's just to jerk his focus into like this like I I've thought about the pool in my backyard like turning the hot tub on to like 105 turning the pool all the way down now that it's not hot, hot anymore. And like going and submerging myself at like six o'clock in the morning, getting really crazy. <laughs> My husband would be like, what in the world are you doing? No, but seriously, it intrigues me that this man is brilliant. He's made a lot of money and he's done it with 
a background and an, and, a, and an upbringing that was not like what a person would think would be like, oh, well, he had it made because he had this kind of upbringing. You know, he had a really rough upbringing and then he's created just amazingness. So um, I've been listening to him a lot more lately because it's, he's super inspiring. So find something for you first thing in the morning that you can plug in to, um, to get your juices flowing, whatever that is, your, your pattern first thing in the morning is something that will really lend to success to the rest of your day. Um, and talking about your schedule just a little bit more before we move into some of the things we wanted to train on tonight. If you don't have a calendar, you guys, and I know Paul talks about this all the time, or he has a lot in the past, and you've probably heard this, but it's where I start every single time. If you don't have a calendar yet, a like this is my life, and maybe you do it digitally, maybe it's in your phone. I highly recommend a little bit of both because I can walk in my office and I color code everything. If you look at my weeks, they are literally color coded with everything. So I know what I'm doing when a certain color means a certain thing. And I know how much time is blocked out for each business or like family time or personal me time, whatever. If you don't have a calendar, that's the first thing you need to get and see all these yellow spots in here. Those are work with me zooms. They're already plotted on there so that I already have them. It doesn't mean I'm going to get on all of them, but it means that they're already blocked off in my calendar. So if I can help it at all cost. I need to be on those because me too, even at the spot I'm at in this business, we're always trying to grow our business and learn new things and do new things. There's all of this stuff is a little bit new to me that we're doing. So I need to get on as many of these as I can so I can learn <laughs> what all of the young people are doing. Good Lord, did I just say that? <laughs> I, here's me now. It used to be the other way around, you guys. No kidding. Sydney be like, did I do a good job on that? House be like, did I do a good job on that, Jessica? Did I do a good job on that? Here's me today. Sydney, did you see the story with the bee floating in my wine at the restaurant? I played the song on there on my stories. Did I do a good job? <laughs> That's how it's going now, right? Because we're doing things a little bit different now and I'm learning how to do my Facebook stories a little bit better, my Instagram stories a little bit better. I'm actually having a lot of fun doing it. If you've been following me at all or have heard anything of what's happened. I lost my Facebook and my Instagram account back in July. Totally taken. Yes, it can happen. So back up your stuff. I did a training on that this week. Um, and so I'm rebuilding my entire account. Went from 5,000 friends to zero friends overnight. And I'm never getting that back. So now I get to go rebuild my social media account however I want. And it's actually been kind of fun. And this couldn't have come at a better time, right? Because now I'm learning all the new ways to attract and to pull people rather than push all of those people. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a little sad not to have your social media account and lose all your friends and have to remember all those people that might have been following and watching you for a while. So there's a downside to it. But there's there's always a silver lining. There's, there's always an upside. And the upside is my Facebook newsfeed, it is filled with the most positive high vibe people it has ever had in 13 years. Because guess what I'm doing? I am only going after and friending people that I think fit my top five. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. And fit what the mold, what I want to be around, what I want in my circle now. So the way we're running our social media now, you should be able to kind of cycle through and do the exact same thing. You might, you might have a lot of friends on social media that now we have to start removing some of those people. And that's what the work with me Zooms will help you do. It's kind of cycling through all of those people, the things to post, the, the ways to go, go through your social media and remove some people that don't need to be there anymore because they're just kind of taking up space. Um, when we were doing back in like November, December, whenever we were doing those blitzes. Do you know how many people I was coming across that actually were not even alive anymore that were on my Facebook feed that I didn't even know who they were. And then I'd like go and I'd go to message them. I'm like, <gasps> their Facebook page is like memorialized. That was horrible. Like there's people like that that I was still attached to. I didn't even know who they were. And so we need to go 5,000 people is a lot of people, right? We can't just stay attached to 5,000 people for absolutely no reason. We need to be cognizant about who we're, we're, we're spending all of this time putting things on social media. Who are we putting it in front of? Is it even the right people? So that's what I'm going to talk about tonight, but stick around because after I get through like the little bit of branding piece, Sydney's going to talk about ATM, which is an ad tag message. Uh, way of doing business and a customer page. And just a heads up, there's, there's two customer pages. 
there's one uh there's one for like team hustle the people that have we've been building for a while sydney built the page uh for ours and then dawn stevenson has a customer page if you are in her lineage and carrie Ann, i'm not sure where you're sending the rest of your people so you'll have to you'll have to let them know to the team hustle okay um so we've kind of opened ours up to whoever can use that but i know dawn has really been spending a lot of time building hers up for her team and um we, we do a lot of things similarly but some things we don't we don't do exact so if you're on her team you want to follow that that customer page but what I want to talk a little bit about is something that I, I I found this book a couple months ago and I started reading it and I was like, man, I wish somebody would have, they need to teach this book in college. Like every business degree, every business owner, especially in the social media age now needs to have this book and, and probably go through this training. And it's called, and this might be backwards to you, I don't know, Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. Um, I, and then shortly after I read the book, Sydney's like, oh my God, I just started reading this really awesome book. Uh, it's called Building a Story Brand. I'm like, girlfriend, what is going on? <laughs> like same book within like two weeks. Well, she had seen um, Hastings on one of her uh, videos or one of her trainings, training on it. And I have now since watched and I was like, all these things started clicking. And I'm talking to Dawn and about, she's been kind of following them for a while and some of the trainings that they're doing and all of a starting to click to me now is like, that's what they're doing. Now, had someone taught me about this five years ago, things would have been a little bit different how we have been building. It is so genius. I can't even tell you guys. I never want to be like, hey, run out and go buy this book. But I really, truly believe this book can change how you build out your social media from here on out. And um, I'm going to show you a website too that you can go to and build your script. But first and foremost, I know you guys may have been on some trainings as of lately where we've all talked about what is your top five, the top five things about you that make you you, that you are, you're attracting people to you because of these things you want to you know flow through groups that have the same type of people in them that have the things that you're interested in. Because if I'm not interested in playing the piano, I was going to be like underwater basket weaving. If I'm not interested in playing the piano, why would I go join groups of a bunch of people that play the piano, right? I want to attract people who are golden doodle moms, right? I have, I have two golden doodles that are like my other children and I, I love them to pieces. So like I want to join some groups that are like that, but what are the top five things about you? So for me, I'm just an entrepreneur. I am a business owner. I love all things business. So those, you may not want to be in some of those groups that are like the boss moms and things like that, because you can run into a lot of other network marketers and that can kind of just fill your space with people you don't, but I am such a business minded uh, person. I love being in those groups and being able to lend advice and ask questions about multiple businesses. Um, I'm a doodle mom. So I like to be in those groups. I'm a teen, I'm a teenage son mom. Uh, and, and it's causing me some strife lately. So I'm in a couple of those groups because they're really helping me cope with the 13 year old attitude problem. Uh, and, and, and so I want you to think about the top five things that make you, you, I love to travel. Um, that's one thing if I could travel, you know, six months out of the year, I would travel. And so I like to belong to some groups like that and other people who kind of live their life like that. So pick the five things that make you, you and really make a list of those if you haven't already and have that uh, top of mind when you're kind of building out your story brand script. And just when you're making your posts every day, you want to always have some, you want, you want people to know when they think of Jessica Green, they think of X, Y, and Z. When they think of Sydney Slayman, they think of X, Y, Z, because that's going to make you memorable in their space. And if they, um, they also know that you're a thriver, you're not a thriver first, you're Jessica Green first, you're a thriver second or third. Um, when, they, when they come across Thrive, they're going to remember Jessica Green because they're going to be like, oh my gosh, my friend Jessica Green does that. She's also the girl that loves golden doodles. And so you want to be able to um, have your brand really, so when people think about you, they're thinking about all the things about you, not just that you throw Thrive on Facebook, okay? Um, so building out your story brand and your story brand script I was like, I see, this is how much I love this book. I have like sticky notes coming out, like falling out of it because there, I could read this book seven times and still be like, oh my gosh, right, right. That's how I'm supposed to do it. So I'm going to share my screen really quick though, too, because 
I have a really great website. Can I just get a thumbs up that you guys can see my screen? Okay. All right, cool. So if you, this is free, but I highly recommend reading the book first, or at least getting the audible because and listen, you guys, I'm the biggest Audible guru in the world. This is one book I would buy the book because I refer back to it constantly, especially when building this out. But mystorybrand.com will give you a digital way of building out your story brand. And I know it looks like homework. It looks like one of those like high school things that you have to fill out. And I'm telling you, you will love this once you're done with it. And you do need to take time on it. Don't just go throw stuff in here and be like, I did it. Actually think about your customer and what you're doing because I, when you go to start making posts and you go to start doing those poll messages, it will work so much better if you have this done the correct way. So we're all so used to, at this point, we know we're all solving problems, but we all get so excited when we start Thrive and we start thriving or we try one of the new products and it changes something for us that we're just like, oh my gosh, you have to try it, you have to try it, you have to try it, you should try Thrive, you need energy, you need it, everybody needs energy. What do you mean you drink coffee? Everybody needs energy, you need to stop drinking coffee. That is not how we're going to attract the right people. <laughs> and this will really help you start realizing how you should be talking to your customers and how you can solve their problems. So like I said, this is free. You can get a, you can just go to my, uh, mystorybrand.com and you can sign up for a free account. You can actually create multiple story brands. So say I want to make one about the Thrive Protocol. I can make this first one totally about the three simple steps. I can make another one completely just about rest. Rest has changed my sleeping life. Um, I can make a complete story about rest. I could make in a complete story brand script about the business. I started with this company because I watched Beth Myers post about the business portion of it. Yeah, she had energy, that's great. I was taking vitamins. I, I had really great vitamins and we rarely got sick. Uh, I didn't need anything like that. I mean, I went through Tim Hortons like three times a day, but I didn't really think that vitamins gave you energy anyway, so I wasn't looking for that. Um, but what I was looking for was a new business because mine was not going the way that I wanted it to. And I was being threatened to go back to work to a regular job nine to five at the end of the summer when Luke went back to school, if I didn't start making more money. So I was looking for the business. So I love to share the business portion of my story because that's why I joined. It was not for the product. Now, will I live another day without this product? No, there's definitely a difference between vitamins who just keep you healthy on a regular basis and those who keep you healthy and give you energy that lasts all day long. So I have a really good story to tell about that too at this point, um, but I didn't then. So my business story is really important to me because I love to attract other business people. But let's go and say that we're, I'm not gonna go through this whole thing with you, but I just wanted to give you a little idea how it works. Um, so your character, the first person, the first portion of what you're going to fill out is about your customer. Like, who are they? What do they want? And he will, he has some little short video clips here that describe each section, but I'm telling you the book is way better. And when you watch these video, he tries to sell you on more of his training of which you do not need. The book is perfectly fine. So you can watch the videos. It'll give you a little bit more explanation, but I feel like if you really want to take this serious, getting the book and um, reading each section, cause it'll give you a whole lot more detail in here on how to fill out this first part, you know, like we're all, what's your customer avatar? Well, I would love to recruit. Nope. That's not how we do it. So what do they want? What, what do your customers want as it relates to your product or service? Well, what I think they want is you can just start putting some, you can start typing some things in here. And for each person, it might be different. Like, I think that most everybody wants more energy. <laughs> I think almost every mom, especially now that we're homeschooling, um, want more energy, right? So I want to list some things in here about my character, my, my character in my story brand script. And then that character has a problem. There's always a villain in every story. And he relates in this book. It's so good because he relates back in the book so many times to different movies that you have watched. And so you'll be like, oh my God, I didn't even realize that that's what they were doing. I didn't even realize that's how they were selling it to us. Um, so there's always a villain in the story, which is a root cause of your customer's problem. Can you personify this root cause as a villain? And what is the villain in your customer's story? Now, again, this might, you might feel like you're, you have a high school or college um, homework assignment here, but I promise you going through this is a whole lot of fun. Once you get through it, you're like, wow, I feel like I really have 
all the meat and potatoes behind how I'm supposed to post each day on different things. Um, and then in your, uh, in the problem part, he talks about external problems, internal problems, and philosophical problems. Um, external is, what is a problem your customer deals with as it relates to your product or service? Well, they're tired all day long. They're tired all day long. They're so tired of being tired. They're sick and tired of being tired. Um, an internal problem. How is this villain making your customer feel? Um, and he talks a little bit in more in depth about this, but like the internal problem is sometimes like, man, I'm so sick of drinking coffee. I feel tired all the time, but I really just don't feel like coffee is good for me. And I feel like I'm actually doing more damage to my body. I'm just giving you like off the top of my head, you guys. So there's more internal problems. And they tell you in the book that selling your customer, your character on their internal problems is highly valuable. We are so used to selling the external problem and that's not what hooks your customer. It's the internal problem. And then there's the philosophical problem. Why is it just plain wrong for your customer to be burdened by this problem? Um, and, and then this is the last part I'll talk to you guys about on this. And then you can kind of go and watch some of this and read the book and start filling some of this out for yourself. Um, and meets a guide. One thing they talk about all the time is we're so used to being the hero of the story, right? You're tired, Sydney, you're exhausted, you're a mom, you, you need more energy. I'm going to solve your problem. Here's Thrive. Boom, I win. I am your hero. I got you more energy. And that's not how they, your customer actually feels the best about your product. They feel the best about your product or service if you make them the hero of the story. And by, by doing that, you have a customer for life at that point, because now they felt like they won, not you won them over, they won. So there's a, there's, there's a way of doing that so that your customer feels like the hero of their own story. And this process will help you get really good at that. I know this is a little overwhelming at first when you look at it. I promise it's fun once you go through it and when you read the book and you start relating. I started relating everything back to the Thrive products and the problems I was solving for people. And I was like, okay, so how could I, how do I make my friend the hero of her own story so that she falls in love with the product and I'm not just cramming it down her throat? And you start kind of putting all of those things together in your head. I'm just going to be her guide. I'm going to be the one who gives her the plan, but she's going to be the hero who then feels so much better six weeks from now because she's lost 10 pounds. She did it herself. She did these products. She took these products and I helped her um, find them, but she's the hero in her own story. And she feels then so much better that she's not going to stop taking this product because she just won. She won. Not you won her over. She won. Um, so I hope, some of this makes a little bit of sense to you guys, but once you have that, like I'm gonna go and make one for each product because like rest, for example, changed how, changed my life. Like I sleep, I don't have the, the wiggly, I won't call it something else, but I don't have the wiggly legs at night anymore in bed. <laughs> and um, I just realized that if you'll see this coming soon on my Facebook feed, uh, if you suffer with chapped lips, like I am a, I'm addicted to chapstick because I have the worst chapped lips in the entire free world. And it's coming, winter time in Michigan is coming sooner than I would hope. And I have just literally solved my problem with our Thrive Skin. And I had no idea that the peel and the serum would solve my problem with chapped lips. So I want to help more people with that because it's the most annoying thing in the world to me is chapped lips. So there's lots of problems we can solve for people. I just think that we need to be cognizant of how we do it and be a little bit smarter on our social media about building our brand, number one, um, but also making our customers the hero of their own stories. And I, 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 I think we'll find that we will win so much more by doing it that way. And digging in, we always say, if you want your business to pay you like a business, treat it like a business. Well, sometimes that takes readjusting the sales a little bit. Sometimes um, it takes digging in and getting some tools that will help you grow your business just a little bit better, learning something new. So I hope that you guys will join us on more of these work with me Zooms. Um, I hope that you can put them in your schedule. We put the agenda up in, uh, in Carrie Ann's team page um, just uh, maybe an hour ago. 
and that's this week's agenda. The, the Zoom times don't really change. Those are the same as the graphic that you guys have seen multiple times. Um, I am going to, there's going to be a contest and I don't know, Carrie Ann, you are on still. So um, do you want to have, do you want me to have Sydney go talk about ATM customer page and then launch your contest? Do you want to talk a little bit about that or do you want me to just? Um, if you want to go ahead and cover it, that's totally fine. I don't really have good lighting. <laughs> You're fine. Um, yeah, if you want to cover the contest, um, guys, it's sweet. I'm excited for it. I want some fun on my Facebook this week. <laughs> All right, I will pass over to Sydney then and have her talk to you guys just a little bit about ATM. And when I heard about ATM the first time, my mind was blown. I was like, man, that's so easy. Why haven't we been doing this for like the last five years? I don't understand why we make things more difficult than they need to be because this is third-party validation at its at its finest. And I know just the way we're, I mean, some people do really great with three-way calls. Lord knows I have done hours and hours and hours and hours of those, but at a certain point, Sydney, actually, I'm not going to take this away from you. Can you tell them the Jesse Lee story? They may not know who Jesse Lee is and that's not important, but she's a, a leader, a big leader in another company. And it was the most profound thing that she said about her time. Do you remember that story? Yes. Yeah, so ad tag message. Yeah. Don't take my pun. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, I, I follow this girl um, in the industry. I'm just all about learning all the time and listening to one of her podcasts. And she was talking about just how, and this blew my mind because if you put yourself, if you've been in this business with us, at least for like the last year, maybe I would say the last two years, you know, that three-way calls were like a big thing. Everybody was doing three-way calls. I was on the phone. I remember probably talking to people when I was half asleep, but I could still be like, this is what VIP is. Uh, like it was one of those things, right? We were all doing it so much. And I'm on her podcast one day and she's like, I started this doing this ATM thing. And um, I don't mean free money. I mean, ad tag message. I put it in the comments for you, which was, it, it is kind of free money if you use it the right way. Okay. Um, but what her whole point of it was, was to create this whole um, ad tag message system that you use so that you're not getting on the phone explaining the VIP to Dawn, to Jess, to Carrie Ann in one day, back to back every hour, right? Because you're really just doing something that's super redundant for you. And it's also can be, have you ever been like, you need a three-way call and you call and somebody's not available, right? They're working or they have something going on or I know I'm a mom, like maybe I'm putting my kid down or he's sick or something and I can't help you. Then what do you do? You're like, well, all I know is three-way calls. So this ad tag message theory, the way that she comes up um, and doing this and how you're going to relate it to your customer page, okay? Basically, what you would do it is if you're talking to anybody, let's say I'm just going to use Dawn because she's right next to me. Um, if I'm talking to Dawn and Dawn is like, you know what, I'm watching you every single morning and I'm just super jealous of how you wake up with all this energy. I want to know what this stuff is about. I have two options, right? I can then message her back and say, it's this really awesome Thrive stuff. It's super simple. Three steps done in the first 20 minutes of your day. Dawn can read that and go like, yeah, you know what, actually, I don't have 20 minutes, or yeah, you know what, actually not interested, and then just disappear, right? Or this is when this whole like system blew my mind, because then I can go hang on for a second. Dawn, let me actually add you to this group, and I'm going to tag you in a video that's going to help answer the questions that you have. Because there's two things that happen, right? When Dawn asked me the question about what's the stuff I take every single morning and why I have energy, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add her to my customer page, then where I have a video, um, in our customer page, we have a video for like, what is Thrive? And so I would tag her in the video. And um, like, if you're on our team, you always see in the tag, I'll put like, hey, Dawn, here's the video more about what Thrive is and why I have that crazy energy. Message me when you're done watching this so I can know when you finish. And I always message the people right after and say, hey, Dawn, I just tagged you in that video. And I don't care if that's redundant, right? Because we all lose notifications. It just happens naturally. So I also message them and say, hey, I just tagged you in that video. Let me know when you finish, okay? And then they go on my, my list and that's for other times, right? But what happens is too, it's a really good follow-up system because let's say for yourself, let's say you go and you tag, um, you know, you're on a mission, your lead list this week is to get as many trials into people's hands as you possibly can. And so in your what is Thrive video in your customer page, you tag 10 people. And let's say a week from now, you forget, because life happens, to go back to those 10 people and say, you know, did you watch the video? Were you interested? What got you? I always like to say, what do you think would benefit you the most? 
because then that they have to watch the video in order to tell me that, right? Or else they're not even gonna know what the hell I'm talking about. They can't lie out of that. What do you think would benefit you the most? And then um, what happens is you'll go back to that. Let's say you have somebody else. Let's say Renee asks you, hey, what is this Thrive stuff? You go back to that message. You're gonna see all those people that you message. Every time someone on your team tags someone in that message, everybody in the comments then gets a notification. Don just tagged Jessica in the, the video that you were tagged in. So then that person, again, if they didn't want to know what Thrive is about, again, they're getting another notification. Hey, go watch that video. Go watch that video. So we all start to help ourselves in this system, too, of maybe we just are busy. I see a lot of you guys at work right now at your desk at work. Like maybe you have work. So maybe your following up just is a little bit through the bucket, uh, through the holes in the bucket. We've all been there. This is a really good part where you can go like, oh, crap. I needed to message that person, or maybe somebody else bumps the system for you. Um, when I started doing ATM, uh, right now, like I'm, I'll be honest, I don't ever like to brag on myself, but I'm killing it with customers. I, I literally killing it because it's so easy for me to filter them into this page. Any questions they ask me, what's a black label? What's balance? How can I get better digestion? How can I lose weight? I'm tagging them in a, what is a black label video or what is balance video. Um, what you can do too is all of the videos inside here, the whole point is adding them to the page so that they're always housed somewhere. If you're messaging in Messenger and they don't respond, then they're ghosts, right? Then you have to work on your next icebreaker message. How are you going to get the conversation back going? That's, you know, super awkward. I hate those, those moments. When they're in that page, every single time, right? And this is why I really encourage and whoever's team, you know, whatever customer page you're in, I encourage you to be active in your customer page. You are not only helping yourself, you're helping the entire team when you do that. And by active, I mean, what's your favorite lifestyle mix? Because I can't tell you how many times somebody, um, we have a really incredible girl, her name is blowing my mind right now, uh, but she posts every single day all of her lifestyle mix flavors in our, um, in our page like and she spruces them up with like Hershey's and strawberries and whipped cream and I had a customer who was like I just changed to the variety pack and you know what this time I did too because I kind of like what she was doing and I want to make one for lunch if she wouldn't have done that I wouldn't have had an extra sale on my customer that I did nothing for all I did was put them in the page and so this isn't also to like make you feel like you don't have to do anything just put a bunch of people on the page you got to do the work when you get them in there but once you get them in there, it's just a really easy tool for you to continue to message them, right? I'll always like, maybe they message me and they're ready to order, right? We have a how to order Thrive where someone walks them through how to order. And I'm that person. If I message them a day ago on how to order and they don't message, I retag them again and I bump the video. Hello, did you see this? And I bump the video for everybody else too. So every single time you're adding someone to the group, and you're tagging them in any kind of video, you're bumping for every single person on your team that tagged in that video. Every single person's gonna get a little notification, hey, this is what it's about. Um, okay, hold on, sorry, I see a bunch of questions going on here. So I just wanna make sure that I'm not missing anything. Um, is it something with the original post or do I need to make sure? So Sean, sometimes what happens too when you're in a bunch of groups, and this probably just happens for us because we're in a lot of groups naturally, you're not always going to see the stuff in the groups. We can just hope that our customers are not in as many groups as we are in. We have obviously a different uh, goal than they do. So we're hoping they're not in as many because just the way the algorithm works, they're not always going to see everything. I, I want to preface by saying everything has the potential in here. Okay. So every time you make a notification, someone has the potential to see it, but potential is me is better than nothing. It's better than them ghosting me in my message and forgetting about them. At least they're housed in our customer page. And if we continue to be active within there, if you continue to post, um, every time we do a sale, you know, it's in there. So the whole point is just whenever anybody asks you a question, it's almost like a virtual three-way call. Okay. And not to say too, you're going to ditch three-way calls. Maybe they need a call after this, but if it's something basic, if I'm, if I'm on the premium DFT right now and I see you with this black thing and I want to know what it's about, you don't need to call Carrie Ann and bother her and ask her what the black label is about. You need to add them to the customer page, tag them in a what is black label video. Do you have any questions? If they do, then we can hop on the phone, right? But it's just a really quick way to streamline things. And I think too, in our society, people want something that's really fast and quick. So all of my videos in there too are like two minutes. Like, and I'll even tell people too, fast forward to 34 seconds, that's when I start talking about what you need. Because I just want to make it very, very clear on what they need, but it also just streamlines them. And then it's going to get them in the page so that they can go, oh, 
no one, listen, everyone has FOMO. It's a natural like it, our being. It's, our, it's a part of our human creation or whatever. You know, it's like who we are. They're going to start looking through the page at other stuff. They're going to start seeing other people posting stuff. They're going to see all these units full of Thrive Skin and what's this carb treat thing you guys are talking about? I can eat pizza and burn fat. They're going to start looking at other things and then ask you, right? So it's really just a matter of getting them in there, tagging them, and then just keeping a list. But it's honestly, for me, it's a really cool system because it really helps you follow up. You're going back to the video and every single time I go back to a video to tag someone, I scroll up a little bit and I go, oh crap, I forgot to message so-and-so. Let me go back and message her really quick. But she's still in the group. She's still seeing all the stuff. And maybe life happened to you. Maybe she just forgot it. But it's just a really good way to start streamlining things, make you feel like you don't really have to rely on anybody all the time. Like you can have, if you're talking to 50 people in the morning, you've got a place to put them. And then maybe you can streamline exactly who needs a call. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Like, you know, like Jess said too, I know that all of this stuff is extremely new to everybody. I just learned about this whole method like six months ago and I'm still utilizing it every single day. So I'd really say just take the whole ATM and make it your own but utilize the major features of it, adding people to the page, streamlining them, duplicating that on your team, getting people into this, this page in this group, I keep saying page, sorry, this group, right? Where they can then be around a bunch of people. They're not just around a bunch of thrivers too. That's what I love about it. They're around a bunch of people who are not thrivers too. So they're seeing other people who are, who are on the same boat as them. They're not, you know, we're not putting them on this like, oh, everybody thrives. There's some people who don't. So then they're like, oh, okay, I'm with this like people of me. And I found that it really helps people on our team. Um, so that's one of my favorite things. And if you guys have any questions, I think tomorrow I have a generic video about ATM, but tomorrow I'll make one that will just be a little bit like break it down. And I'll post it maybe in Carrie and, and Team Believe so that you guys can tag your teams like maybe a five minute or less to break that down so that they can understand too. And there's a Christina on here that asks, how does she find the customer group? But I'm not sure who Christina is and what team she's on. So there's... Dawn's team, and then there's Team Hustle. So we, ours is Happy, Healthy, Thriving, Easy, One, Two, Three. I don't know if Christina is. Christina, if you want to let us know who, where you fall. I got it, Jess. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, without last names, I can't tell. <laughs> um, all right. So I think that we covered enough about that and Sydney's going to make another video. So I hope that was helpful. We've been using this on our team for a while. Um, yeah, Carrie Ann, I just got your text so you can, you can share about the contest and I've got the graphics, so we'll just get it posted after this. But um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all spending some time with us tonight and jumping on these team huddle meetings. I really truly believe on Sunday nights for all of us to get together is is important. Uh, now with the way things are, locals aren't happening as much anymore and we're not getting together as much anymore. We haven't had the lifestyle getaways and I think it's just really important for the team to be able to get together once a week and share some stuff. I know we have an exciting next Sunday. Carrie Ann's going to be getting on. Um, we talked uh, Sheila Fasoni, she's an eight-figure earner in Lavelle, and Kim Collins, one of my favorite humans on the planet. Um, they're going to come on and talk all about auto ships next week. So we are going to really start upping our auto ship game on this team. Um, I know there's a lot of us that are going to really start working on it so that we can get our auto elite. And we would like you guys to join us on that. I think there will be another contest that probably kicks off next week that has to do with auto ships. So we can start really uh, utilizing some things that we've learned from other teams and things that they're doing uh, so that we can really get our auto ships um, I mean, auto ships, quite honestly, I was thinking about this. I was like, <laughs> I will say I've always been the worst one at auto ships because I always, I'm always business driven. I've been business driven in this since I got started, which isn't a bad thing. And I always was under the mindset, like promoters make more money for us than, than the, than the customers. I love my customers, but promoters make more money. Right. So I was always like going to that, um, that realm. But then I was just thinking over the summer when I had a couple of different things happen business-wise, you know, some once in a while in our businesses, we have to take a step back and take a break or something happens in your family and you need to take, well, guess what? If you build your auto ships, your business keeps building no matter what your promoters do, because 
<laughs> their customers are still ordering and the auto ships are continuing to go out three times a month. So the auto ship is where it's at. And I don't know why it took me five years to realize that. <laughs> that's not that hard to figure out. So I'm excited to go down that path. So join, make sure you guys join us next Sunday because we're going to do some training on that and really get our auto ships back um, chugging along. I know at least for Team Hustle, we need to be working on that. So I'm going to pass it over to Carrie Ann. You want to talk a little bit about the contest and you have the graphics. So um, I do. Yes. Awesome. I am excited that we got Sheila and Kim and you know, I know they don't mind helping us out since we are a placement team under them. So um, it's, it's pretty cool that we get access to their awesome um, support and leadership. And I, I think I told, I, I mean, I told Beth one day and I told Jess and everybody, I'm like, I, the, the auto elite is like, I feel like I can, you know, there's so many things I want to accomplish and I've accomplished a lot of things. And I'm like, I don't have that damn auto elite. <laughs> like I want it. <laughs> like, you know, I just see these people and you know, it pushes me to want to go after it. So that's my goal. After I saw twins training on those auto ships, it really just fired me up. And I know that Sheila gets it. I believe Kim gets it. So they're going to share with us. So next Sunday, it, it's going to be awesome. But what we're going to do this week, guys, um, we needed some fun. Um, and I added some extra prizes because we had a little delay getting that launched this week is a, is a go live contest. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go live for three minutes, um, sharing your story. Uh, you're going to talk about, or you can talk about just the three steps, you know, maybe just do a demo and just say, Hey, have you ever wondered, you know, what I talk about all the time? What the hell is it? What the heck is it? You know, what is it that I do every day? And you're going to, you know, this is it. And you know, demo, you could even demo here. Here's my shake. However you want to do it, make it fun, but make it simple. Three minutes or more or whatever you want to do. Um, or maybe share a plus line product. How Jess had said, you know, rest had changed her life. Um, and she sleeps amazing, you know, for myself. Um, you know, I love balance and I, I, I think we can all attest to that. So think about something, maybe one of those plus line products that you want to get out there and share with people, you know, or your Thrive Skin, you know, I, if you've never watched Allison's stories, like her demo of Thrive Skin just reminds me every night, like, oh my God, Carrie, you want those balls of skin on your face? Like when you like rub it and your dead skin comes off and then her face is glowing. I'm like, okay, it reminds me, like, I love my, my Thrive Skin. So doing a Thrive Skin demo, if it's been a while, anything like that, or go live with someone. Um, and you're going to get double the entries into the contest. Um, and a way that you can go live, you could even play around with this is on your, um, on your Facebook. I saw it the one day it was Tiffany and her husband, Dustin Wagner, they're, they're Lavelle millionaires. Um, and they were, they're just a cute couple and they were doing a, and I, I think I sent it and I was like, how did they do this? Um, basically like when you are at the top of your Facebook, I don't know if you probably can't even see it right above your story, it'll say create a room and you can add people into those rooms. Um, you know, and when you create a room, it'll give you the option room activity, who's invited start time. You could essentially start this little meeting room and then there's an option to go live, um, on Facebook. I've got to try it myself. So everybody practiced, <laughs> um, you know, maybe, um, you know, checking it out. Um, I'll see if maybe I can find just like a tutorial on it. Um, but, um, it's really, really hard to, uh, we tried it, I think, whatever, one day last week, I tried to do a live and it didn't work that well. Um, Facebook is just bringing back dual lives. So if you want to play around and practice with this, um, I don't know if there's an option where you can maybe just go live to like a private, um, group and you could have like nobody in that group, but you, so you're testing it out. Um, however you want to do it, find a way. I always try to do things in a mock way before I like go live. Um, so just practice that maybe, um, you know, say, um, just create a group. <laughs> that's just your own group and go live in there on that meeting room. Um, but, uh, that's an option. And then, um, you'll get double the entries into the contest. Just you say maybe your newest promoter is too nervous to do, you know, um, her own. So if, you know, you guys both go in there, you're going to get the, the extra entries in there um, as well. Also, um, where do I have it? The graphic is going to, it's going to start tomorrow um, and it's going to run all the way through next Sunday. Let me make sure I have the graphic, the time right from Jess. Um, through next Sunday, 
And I am going to put together six $100 bundles of Thrive products. Um, so I'm going to hopefully try to, if I get time tomorrow, maybe I'll just put them together just like to entice you to see what they look like. Um, but there'll be six prizes and we need at least 30 people to enter. So guys, I think that we should have tons. There's no limit to how many times you can go live. Um, and you have a question, Jess? Go ahead. I'm just thinking because we have these customer pages, we really want to get people used to using them. And Dawn's just got hers up and running and um, filled with more stuff. And we're needing more stories in our customer pages. So I'm just wondering if, is it an option where they could, if they're going to do like a, a story about a product or about their Thrive experience that they go live in one of the customer pages that it would count? Yeah, they could absolutely do that. Okay. You could absolutely do that. Because I'd love to fill our customer page with more stories. I would do it. I mean, my, my, my whole, I mean, I, I would just do it just to do it. Um, but yeah, we could, I, I like that idea. If you're maybe too nervous to go on your, on your page yet and, and do something, you know, just do it to strangers in this customer page, <laughs> uh, share your story, whatever's going to work. Um, but I think this will be fun. Um, getting our faces out there. There's so much, and, and guys also just be aware of your medical claims. Don't say like, oh my God, because I, you know, everybody in my family said COVID. Now I need to take my recharge or whatever it is. Like just uh, watch what you're saying, you know, and if you're unsure, ask, ask your upline before you go, you know, maybe you've been someone who's had a specific medical condition, ask how you should word that. Um, cause we can't make any medical claims cause that's going to come down on you. Um, that's sorry. My daughter's calling. Did you guys lose me? Nope. You're still there. Okay. We can see you. Um, no, it, you guys want to make sure that, um, you know how to, um, you know, present, um, you know, your health condition, whatever it is. And, you know, I, I definitely don't want anybody getting shut down because they said something or they've made some sort of claim with any kind of condition. Um, so uh, just be aware of that. But guys, make this fun. I mean, lo going live, um, you know, in your, in your Facebook stories, your Instagram stories. Um, if you're going on your Instagram stories or Facebook stories, um, you know, when you comment, maybe you make a screenshot of it. Um, if it's on your Facebook page, go, go on your Facebook page and I'll be able to see that. Just screenshot those things. So I know, let me know the day that you did it when you're entering guys, but have fun, be professional though. Remember you're on show when, when you're doing this. So, um, you know, I'm, I would not go live like I am right now with like, I think I have like, there's like crap all over my desk. It's like a mess, like right now, I'm obviously, but so if you're going live, like, you know, just get your three steps behind you and maybe just, you know, have them, you know, clear, just clear out a small space on your kitchen table. So it's, it's, it's plain behind you, however you want it. Um, you want them to focus on you and the product. You don't want them to be distracted by all of the crap behind you, which now that I'm thinking about it, like, I don't really have a good setup for my upstairs zoom. I got all this stuff on the shelf. <laughs> um, but I'm just giving you guys ideas. Um, you want them to focus on you and what you're saying. Um, you know, or go sit in your car. If you can't escape your kids and you're homeschooling them, go in your car and say you're in your car, <laughs> you know, just tell people like, thank God I have my thrive, you know, and, and explain, uh, you know, that that's all you need to do. Just be real, be genuine, have some fun. Um, and Jess, Sydney, you guys were awesome tonight. Any closing thoughts or, or anybody have anything that they I just tell everybody to go and, and it's Sunday night. I'm a big, huge planner on Sunday nights, getting my schedule all mapped out for the week. So if you haven't done that yet, what will start your Monday off on the best bang is to have your schedule drawn out for the week. So you know which times you're getting on those Zooms and set them aside and know, hey, I know I'm building my business. I might be doing it slow or I might be doing it fast. If I'm doing it slow, I at least have, you know, two of the work with me Zooms. It's an hour, you know, two different days I'm putting into my business. Maybe you can put five hours in. Maybe you, maybe you can put more. Those will at least give you direction. And I know even for me, I'm like, oh, I've got this handled. Like I'm always working, so I'm good. No, those hours that I get on those, I'm actually focused on just working my Laval business and they are effective. So get your schedules done, plan your week like you're planning for your dreams that you actually want to come through, plan them out. 
put it on the calendar. Make sure you're spending the time on it. That's all I got for you. See you guys later. I'll see you live on Facebook next. <laughs>